The following tutorial shows how to use a function within a for loop. These are the equations used to calculate height and horizontal distance. Next, they are used to plot the projectile's trajectory. This figure shows the variables used in the projectile's trajectory. Theta, the projectile's angle, is the changing variable. This is the main program. Define the global variable g. Define the function's inputs, initial velocity, and time. The for loop is defined by a changing theta value from 20 to 90 degrees. Next, we will look at the for loop in detail. The for loop and flowchart will show multiple iterations at different angles. For the first iteration, theta is equal to 20. Call the function projectile trajectory. The function projectile trajectory uses the inputs initial velocity, theta, and time to calculate the outputs height and horizontal distance. Call the global variable g which was defined in the main file. Calculate height h and horizontal distance x. Plot horizontal distance variable x and height variable y. The loop continues to the next iteration. The next iteration theta equals 30. Call the function projectile trajectory. Update the plot with the new horizontal distance variable x and height variable y. The loop continues to the next iteration. The loop continues in a similar pattern plotting the trajectories until theta equals 80. For the last iteration Theta equals 90. Call the function projectile trajectory. Update the plot with the new horizontal distance variable x and height variable y. Notice when theta equals 90, the projectile's trajectory is vertical. This is the end of the loop. Thank you for using MATLAB Marina for your programming needs.